Welcome to Start Fab Institute. Today is um July Friday the eighth. No, Monday the eighth, two thousand nineteen. It's currently um one fifty p.m. So um <clears throat> I'm home right now. Again, my apology in advance. My beloved mother is out there cooking some stuff for me. She is visiting from Paris. So she won't stay for that long. She's going to stay for one week. So she's cooking some stuff. At any moment, she will bust the door open. So my daughter is not here. All right, let's get on to this. This is an article that came out in the the Sun. That code, that UK, came out um, yesterday, July the 7th, um, 2019. And it's titled, Crown Tools. Crown Jewels security guard was caught watching porn on his phone instead of guarding the nation's treasures. A Randy guard meant to be protecting the Crown Jewels at the Tower of London has been caught with his eyes trained on adult porn. The worker was maintained the East Gate entrance just yards from the five billion you will treasure almost say dollar um uh, uh uh treasure but see that's the dude right there okay so i mean he's at work he's supposed to watch these five billion you will worth of treasures worth of jewels and he is watching filth and you know it's just relaxing because that's the kind of grip this thing got on you, okay? You have this responsibility. Can you imagine if one of those um, guys that those high um, high skills, high quality thief study this guy and they would rob, they would see every time he get um, on his shift, he watch porn, they will study his, um, his schedule, his timeline. They could rob him. They could rob the jewelry place. Can you imagine you being this guy and you got a 5 billion euro, which is at least 6 or $7 billion worth of a dip on your head because you were watching porn. <laughs> and most likely this dude go somewhere and then fap. We don't know, but... Um, Let's go. So, rather than monitoring visitors on the CCTV, the guard is focused his phone playing porn. The office above of the right is just yard from the 5 billion euro treasures. But instead of monitoring the visitors on the CCTV, he was focused on his phone screen showing a brunette woman in black suspenders performing a lewd sex act. The image of the historic Royal Palace's employee in his uniform, the guy was in uniform, and cap is thought to have been taken by a colleague during a shift change. It has been shared on WhatsApp. Trust me, guys, there are so many things on WhatsApp people are sending me, like, well, some people that I know that I used to know back then, they, they, they're not even funny. They're not even funny. There's one um, video that somebody sent me. I'm just going to explain it to you because I cannot upload it. The video contained three women. And one of the girl, uh, she was a very young girl. The two girl took her, put her down, and both of them with knife and stab her to death and cut her head off. Because they did that because she slept with, with their husband. And she sent them the video. They were making porn. So the two girls took her, put her down, stabbed her to death, cut off her head right there on, 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 the, on, on the camera. And they were laughing doing it. And they were telling her what she did. So WhatsApp is crazy. And it's, it's, it's a very um, scary app to have on your phone. And luckily, I'm not scared of anything. So, last night, a closed source told The Sun where it comes to security at the tower. That office is one of the most important vantage points. The guard didn't hear the person taking over the shift come up behind him, so he was caught red-handed. So, apparently, one of his co-workers, well, in, in, in England, they call it colleague. Oh, man, my internet freeze. Oh, all right. So apparently one of his co-workers did this. 
um, he took, he snapped the picture of him as a goof and then sent it to his friend. Next thing you know, I'm reading it right now. Hundreds of people are watching this and this guy still has his job. <laughs> I love England, man. <laughs> I love the UK. He still, he still have his job. Okay. So, um, the photo was sent to a WhatsApp group in a lighthearted way. No one has told the bosses, so he still has his job. So the whole thing about WhatsApp group, there are so many filth circulating on WhatsApp. It's not even funny. And they are not like professionally done things. They are like amateur, like people that work with you. And there was that this girl in Spain, she killed herself. I'm going to make a video about that because um, her ex, they were making a porn. And then he, uh, that was a revenge porn. He um, sent it to people through WhatsApp, and they, they, the people at her workplace where um, they, they were like um, bullying her, and then she killed herself. So the insider went on. It is just wrong to watch porn at work, no matter where you are. You are damn right. But when you work at the Tower of London, you have a huge responsibility. So it is simply outrageous. It's true, man. You're protecting a five or six, seven billion dollar worth of jewelry. <laughs> and then you just sit there and casually watch porn. See, so the grip of this thing, man. It is also dangerous because he isn't protecting the public as it should be. If someone who was a potential threat walked to the wanted to walk in, I bet he wouldn't notice a thing. Sure is. The guards are there to protect the country's most valuable collection of jewelry and not to watch X-rated videos. The photograph emerged just month after the Sun revealed that four Tower of London guards had been asked for exposing themselves on camera. Well, I guess <laughs> this was written for the UK audience, so Axe has been fired, so... Um, I'm assuming <laughs> they've probably been literally being axed with an axe, <laughs> you know, hack. But I, I, I assume those um, four guys were showing the wing to the camera. So, man, bosses suspected they had snorted class A drugs on site. Probably mean cocaine, um, flaca, which is really big down there in Florida. Um, already, it, it's originating in my county, Broward County, actually. Flacca is very personal to me. I had people that I know that hooked up on Flacca, so they're no longer here with us, so the, the, the drug killed them. Sniffer dogs were brought in to calm the sites. 200-year-old Warfinger cottage and vaults like a room for cocaine. Mm. Class A drugs. Over there, we call them Coke. <laughs> man, the UK is, is, a, is, a, is a great country, man. Class A drug. Wow. The Royal Crown jewels, jewels include the Imperial State Crown bottom, which the Queen wears to open a parliament, and a 400 million euro diamond. Hmm. Wow. So they trusted all those valuable stuff with. Guys that watch filth like that? Like, really? Man, you guys are lucky you aren't in the U.S. I think would have been long gone. They are displayed in the jewel room for 3 million visitors a year to admire. Last night, a tower sportman said of, of, said of the photo, security is one of the utmost importance to us. Not really. We take these matters extremely seriously and we'll be conducting a throughout investigation. Hmm. We take these matters extremely seriously. Man, England, they, I, this doesn't make... I would have said we take these matters extremely serious and we will be conducting a throughout investigation. But I guess that's how they write over there. Okay, so that's the, that's the crown. That thing worth four billion dollars? I think they meant collectively. But uh, that's the crown, man. So this guy, instead of protecting, um, instead of protecting um, this jewelry, he was on his phone watching porn. So 
And then again, if these guys was involved with the NoFap movement, none of this wouldn't happen. He would have been at work, serious, and doing his job. His colleague would have walked up on him and he would say, Hey, man, thanks for coming in and cover your shift, man. You have a great night. You know, little, little known facts. <laughs> well, I guess it's not little known to you guys, but most of you guys know that I used to be a security guard. All right. So I used to be a security guard until I get my own company, and uh, which is underground right now. I run for about two years. About two years, I make a hish loan of money. I um I build a house. Um, not here though. It's overseas, and um, I I did a lot with my security company, but um, uh, something happened. The Lord Himself um did something to me because of my arrogancy. And my company went under, but not fully under. It's still there, but I'm not a part of it. Uh, there's a video that I made years ago. You guys can see me wearing my security talks, things, doing security. So I used to do what these guys does. Okay, so I understand the responsibility. Did I watch filth when I was at work? Yes. When I was like uh, super uh, addicted, I was watching it. But once I entered the NoFap thing, no more, man. No more. So there's stories about truck drivers watching filth while they are driving. And then they fop and then they lose control. The whole truck, you know, flipped over and a lot of people die. But, hey, man, let me know what you guys think, man. You know, this thing. <laughs> wow. Anyway, peace and blessing, honor and respect to all. See you guys in the next video.